The work of seafarers is hard. Many are away from family and friends. Many have a rough go on the high seas, but being of service to people and country for many of them is an honor. And that's part of why today there was an expo and job fair in Belize City. There were booths from an alphabet soup of organizations including Imarbe, Baja, the Port Authority, and the Belize Coast Guard, with the hope that people will want to know more. Rear Admiral Elton Bennett explained why this arm of the security forces had to be represented. Today is a very important day um, for seafarers, not only in Belize but worldwide. And the Belize Coast Guard, uh, being a maritime organization, is a very um, integral part of the maritime sector in Belize. So what we're here doing today is joining our hands with the other maritime agencies in the country, um, Port Authority, Imarbe Fisheries, um, and, and some of the private sectors that are represented here as well, to really demonstrate um, what we do, what we contribute to the nation. For the Belize Coast Guard, that means maritime safety, maritime security, and environmental protection. Ports Commissioner Major H. Gilbert Suazo says that seafarers' work often transforms or saves lives in some powerful way. The seafarers are an integral part of the shipping industry whose work and profession certainly bring cargo, food, medicine, important life-saving equipment uh, and, and to ensure the better way of life for the citizens across the world. So I think that their contribution cannot be underestimated. And this, Major Suazo says, may spark some interest among young people seeking opportunities. By raising awareness of these important um, periphery um, jobs that are done within the maritime industry can then give an opportunity for our Belizeans to say, you know, that may be something I would love to do, rather than then focusing on the traditional terrestrial education and employment opportunities. Right now, those opportunities are plentiful. That's because a lot of people left the seas due to the pandemic. CEO for the Ministry of Public Utilities and Logistics, Jose Urbina, explained. This sector is high demand in terms of manpower, unskilled and skilled. Um, one of the realities is that, um, and a compromise that, that has been made um, with one of the cruise lines is to really hire about 200 um, unskilled um, persons to go on these, on these ships as, as a requirement. Um, so this would assist our young people in one, creating opportunities, and two, them getting an opportunity to see what is out there at sea and also to create a life. And from the Coast Guard's perspective, it's a dedication to service by protecting the nation from threats. Maritime safety in terms of what we do for protecting those mariners at sea, um, search and rescue operations, vessel safety operations um, and inspections, and in maritime security, protecting those um, who are vulnerable at sea, protecting the nation from the threats that originates at sea, that's um, drug trafficking, um, enforcing maritime laws as relates to fisheries, customs and immigration. So what we're doing here today is really educating the public on those core missions that the Belize Coast Guard performs and provide for the nation of Belize. And if you've missed out on today's festivities, find the organizations online to learn more about those opportunities to serve. Remember, hashtag Seafarer Journey. Dale McDougall, Love News.